So, Eric, um, thank you very much for meeting us here again. Um, could you just give me a little bit of background on the history of the leather sellers and, and this building? Well, the leather sellers obviously are an amazingly august livery company in the sense that their first charter was given to them in 1444 by Henry VI and continue to be an incredibly exciting livery company now. They support apprenticeships in leather right. and the leather industry, but it is fundamentally about coming together in a shared purpose that is based in uh, the idea of establishing benchmarks of quality. What has resulted is a 20 meter odd hole that was built between a facade and the exquisite medieval fabric of the church of St. Helen's Bishopsgate. The choreography of meeting, um, of going down to dine and, and returning is incredibly important and obviously that rather vertiginous 10 metre drop to the dining hall was incredibly important so our work together on that I think has been fundamental to the success mm -hmm. of that. Well that brings me on to another question about materials because I think your material choice is really interesting the way they kind of it both lends to detail but also to kind of overall harmony for the building. So the ceramic is a good case in point it creates rather like a, a, a lavender field extraordinary um, haze of colour. So that's why I uh, worked with this as a backdrop to St Helens. Then I think you saw this sample. That's right, I saw it in, in our first conversation that I had just yeah. with you in your studio and, and suddenly thought, mm, that reminds me of an experiment that I'd done with Clayton's, the tannery in Derbyshire. And I took that up to see them and said, is it possible that we can revisit a skin that they'd done for me some time ago? And we came up with this material here. But it's the same, in a strange way, it's got the same idea in that you are exposing a background colour. Yeah. So you're kind of just releasing it, but you're letting the natural characteristics of the skin actually define where the background colour is released. Rather than defining it, it lets, it's just doing it completely naturally. So all of this grain is a direct result of the animal's life. That was stunning when we you know, had the, received the sample. I was completely thrilled. We enjoyed doing the lift hall on the ground floor where there were some original 1950s panels of that lovely kind of verdigris colour with the gold foil. And then working with your team there, we recreated the old leather. And I think you'd be hard pushed now to define what was old and what was new but there's a lovely sense that it was has it been there for years or is it new or what, what is it and that's rather nice. Continuity is an incredibly important word because obviously a livery company represents continuity and passing on knowledge and passing most importantly passing on a knowledge of a craft and an industry. So is it something that you're particularly interested in in terms of the actual handcrafted elements to everything that's made? I would say fairly obsessively. You know, there's a sense in which uh, so much that you walk through and touch today is the result of a kind of um, almost globalised industry. So if one can take uh, elements and push the crafting of them, push them back, it's marvellous to see it in all the surfaces to see that the crafting is there and I, I do believe in all the projects that that's incredibly mm. important. I think some of the things like the ingle nook where yeah. all that hand stitching I mean yeah. you would never <laughs> normally be given the opportunity to hand stitch an entire piece of furniture but it looks fantastic as a result mm. I think. It is it is one of the hallmarks of your work though um, and that you've you've kind of moved through scales I'm very interested in the, those different scales and, you know, to take something one's always appreciated, like saddlery, and to be able to transfer some of that pleasure into, a, into architectural scale, interior mm. scale, seems to me to be very interesting. We're very interested in how traditional materials can be completely reinterpreted and put into a completely different environment. I have learnt so much about leather. Um, you know, through this, uh, through this job. The joy of doing these things is, is actually discovery, I think, yeah. of the possible.